Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon Fire Red Normal Pure Type. And if you're wondering why on earth are we in Celadon, when at the end of the last episode we finished in Lavender Town, well, I realised that actually being in Celadon is a hell of a lot more sensible for me than it would have been to be in Lavender Town. Um, mainly because obviously Celadon actually has access to the third member of our team and finally a new member. Um, obviously to uh, combine with the two that we currently have. But there's another thing that we need to talk about regarding the Pokemon we currently have. I've been going on about how I've wanted my Clefairy to learn a Magical Leaf, and uh, was wondering why I hadn't learned it by level 37. Turns out it's not Clefairy, it's Clefer that learns Magical Leaf at a certain level. And uh, Clefairy doesn't learn it um, through level up, which kind of sucks. Um, so essentially what I can do is I can either wait for Clefairy to learn Meteor Mash, if I wanted a Meteor Mash Clefable uh, on my team, because uh, uh, Clefairy does learn Meteor Mash, or I can just evolve our Clefairy right here, right now, and I think that is actually what we're going to do, um, mainly because, yeah, pretty much it was, um, we were holding out for a move that we're not going to get, and um, whilst it means essentially we are going to end up with no true grass type move on our team, um, hopefully Water Pulse is going to essentially be able to do uh, most of the coverage that we need. Uh, when you think about it, grass is only really needed for those pesky water ground types. And um, when it comes to Gen 1, there aren't any of them. And it's only um, in the later generations where they arrive. But here we are, our Clefairy evolves into a lovely Clefable. And now we are ready to take on. So the other thing I did, so the reason I got to Celadon is because I wanted to do a lot of off-screen gambling. And so much. Oh dear, it just took so long. So essentially, um, yep, I have maxed out all of my uh, gambling. So as you can see, we have 999 coins. That took absolutely forever to actually get. But we have our reward here when we uh, receive our Porygon here. And so we now have a level 26 Porygon, mild nature, Normal, uh, obviously pure normal type with agility, side beam, recover, and sharpen. So um, this is our new member of our team, a Porygon, and we will be using it a lot um, in the coming episodes, um, obviously, because um, from now on, essentially, it is um, what we've got to do is we've got to pretty much hit a uh, a straight rush. We've got to try and get from here all the way down to. Um, We've got to get down to Fuchsia and get down to the Safari Zone where we will be able to find our remaining three members of our team. But, so, we are here in Celadon, and um, why are we here in Celadon? Where, of course, um, we need to continue on the story, and um, the main storyline continues in the Celadon Game Corner, where I have spent a lot of time uh, gambling, but we talk to this guy. And of course he says he's guarding this poster, um, just randomly giving us all this information. We can now, uh, I want to see how much Psybeam does, it's, it's over half, that's important. Um, so we take out his Raticate, he's also got a Zubat, obviously um, the lovely thing about Porygon is that Psybeam is super effective on literally, um, on the vast majority of um, Team Rocket Pokemon and stuff like that, which is really good news for us. So we're going to be able to access the rocket hideout here in Celadon, and we're going to start uh, taking on um, these uh, Team Rocket members. Um, and hopefully um, our Porygon is going to be able to uh, do an awful lot here. We are going to swap out just because I did have a Tail Whip on me, and I would much rather not risk get a, uh, a Hyper Fang for the face. You're not going to get away with this brat, uh, he says. So, there is a PP up hidden in that tree. And we're going to continue to uh, make our way around as we find the escape rope um, just there. And now we're going to take, our, uh, take on these guys. As you can see, we have uh, nothing that's actually super effective against Drowsy. But obviously, uh, what we do have is we have uh, an awful lot of levels uh, on these Pokemon. So, uh, for the Machop, we'll go back into our Porygon, and so let's see how much Psybeam does. Psybeam does an awful lot. It takes you out. Porygon grows to level 27. It's impressive that it's actually at that level. I wasn't actually expecting it to be as high a level as it is. And we actually do not actually have anything. Do I have any bit? Yes. 
Gotta love the berries. The berries are really helpful just just in those odd cases where you do actually need, um, you know, to be healed from various stat uh, statuses, statuses. Okay, so uh, next guy. Obviously, uh, what we're looking for here is uh, we are looking for the... Um, we are looking for um, the what the, the guy just mentioned it. Um, silver scope. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Obviously, if we get the silver scope, the silver scope will allow us to progress in Lavender Town. Once we can get through Lavender Town, we can then um, get the um, get the uh, poker flute, which will allow us to wake up the Snorlaxes and essentially, um, you know, give us uh, far more options with uh, where we can actually go on the map. So obviously, uh, we're just going to, um, as we can find, was that Taunt? I think it was. Or Truant? I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's the way we're meant to go. No. Oh, I'm being an idiot. Come on. We want to take that route, and then that one, and then that one, and then depends which way we want to go. We want to head this way to grab the item, which is a super potion, and then head back. I'll be honest, I don't actually remember if this is the way we're meant to go, because we don't have the elevator key, do we? So I might be wrong, which would suck, but oh well. We'll hit this one, we'll go down. Oh no, because yeah, there is the path up there as well, and yes. So, you. Why did you come here, asks Team Rocket Grunt with a Rattata. Rather there. And Eradicate. Rogon is getting a little low on health, uh, will be said, as we uh, gain another level. As we uh, zip through these battles, again, we are largely overleveled um, for the vast majority of these battles, but that is uh, no issue for us, really. Um, so, do we have any super potions, is the question. We do have one. So, you. We're going to take on this, uh, we, as we take on... Uh, We are running out of side beams, but thankfully uh, we are seeing some poison Pokemon again, so we can take you guys out. Silver Scope, huh? I don't know where it is. So, that is everything there. And it appears to need the key. Okay, so we do need the key. Okay. So, uh, that obviously implies that we need to go down another level, and then we can find the key there. So, He's got a Machop. We can obviously side beam away. We're going to see another Machop. Um, we are going to need to uh, Ether here. Seismic Toss obviously does the same amount of damage as the level, so that's uh, really not something we need to worry about. You can't go anywhere without the Lift Key as we get Frustration. Which is a pretty useless TM, to be honest, to actually get uh, in a in a normal run. As we find a nugget, just that. Because obviously, um, you can just use return. <laughs> and return is so much easier to deal with than frustration, just because um, the issue with frustration is obviously it's uh, about how... Obviously, it works best if your Pokemon are unhappy, and the issue um, is, is that... Your Pokemon gain happiness literally by walking around, so uh, it's very difficult to actually try and maintain the maximum damage for frustration. Uh, as we gain land on side beam, we're going to see a drowsy, so obviously we'll swap here. Secret power takes up the drowsy, lovely. It's here somewhere. As we find the black, black glasses, uh, which will uh, increase the power of any dark type moves that we have. Uh, I don't think we will actually have any Dark Time moves in this run, thinking about it. Snatch, which is a Dark Time move actually, there, there and again. 
So, the elevator doesn't work. Who has the lift key? Asks this Team Rocket grunt. We trace Coffins Levitate. We take you out. We take out the Super. We got the Jubbly. Oh no, I dropped the lift key. Thank you very much. So, if we just uh, quickly go to our TMs. Um, So Otis can learn, but it's seed, but that doesn't make some sense. So we have Taunt, we have Frustration, we have Dig, we have Brick Break, which we will want to use eventually, but not on uh, any of these Pokemon. An attack that may take the foe's held item if the user is holding one steals the effect of the foe's healing or status changing move. So if we just uh, give Thief to Porygon just for the moment, just so we have a, a dark type move, um, It'll be better than Sharpen, because Sharpen uh, raises attack, and really, Porygon is unlikely to be using any um, any uh, physical type moves, or uh, any physical moves. Also, um, it's also uh, only raises it by one stage, so obviously something like Swords Dance is a hell of a lot uh, better. And whilst it is a, I believe it is a Porygon family, sort of like one of their... Um, signature moves, I guess. Um, it's not actually too useful for us in this run. So we'll make our way over to the elevator. We can now head here. We can go um, down to B4, where we should find Giovanni, I believe. Is it Giovanni? Yes, it is. So, you. I know you, you ruined our plans at Mount Moon, says this uh, grunt. Brings out a sand tree, so we will go into... I didn't mean to make a kick. I should have water pulse. There we go. It's going to sand slash, so we can also water pulse you. And an ekans. We can go back to our Porygon for. So we get glared, unfortunately, um, but that's not too much of an issue. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? So, Sand Shrew. Um, yeah, I should have actually swapped out, but anyway. Lovely, lovely. Porygon goes to level 30, and we see an Arbok. So, we have no more uh, PP and Psybeam, actually, so that's not clever. Um, we will go into our Clefable as our... Um, Pokemon that can mostly deal with this sort of thing. Land a Mega Kick. Beautiful. Down goes um, the Arbok. Boss, I'm sorry. I failed you, he says. So, we're going to obviously ether up our Psybeam. We are going to use a Paralyzed Heal. I would heal up, but I don't think we've got anything to heal aside from Hyper Potions, and that would kind of be a waste. Um, PP up on something. We've got X defense, X attacks. We actually have a calcium which raises special attack, which is great for our playable. Um, so, what is next? Yeah, so it is Giovanni. Um, and yeah, we will uh, take him on. Let's see how we fare. So, I must say, I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I'm the leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. So here we go, boss Giovanni fleets off with an onyx, and we are going to swap to our Fable for a water pulse that will almost inevitably take this onyx out. Lovely. He's going to bring out a Rhyhorn, which is obviously suffers from the same issue of being quadruply weak. Um, and then uh, for the Kangaskhan, we will go to our um, Porygon first. And then we will swap out, because as you can see, uh, that was very, very little damage. Let's see if we can land a Mega Kick. We can, and that does a huge amount of damage. And now we can Water Pulse to finish off the Kangaskhan. Lovely. Sir, what? This cannot be. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. So we get the self-scope from Giovanni, and now we can leave. Do you have something against Team Rocket? I just wanted to see if uh, they had anything different to say after we defeated their boss. Evidently not. We're going to be able to go back up to uh, B1F. One more battle, and then I think we're out of the 
we're out of this uh, little um, area. So I beam once more, down goes the coughing. Lovely. We've already fought you. So that is the Celadon Game Corner Rocket um, area done. Lovely jubbly. So we've done that. Uh, we've also. Um, There's uh, oh, uh, an awful lot of other stuff you can do. Obviously, um, there is where you actually get the coin case in order to be able to collect coins from the game corner. Um, they have very little to say, if I remember correctly. Oh, you can put in there, no. I feel like there should be something hidden, but it doesn't look like... I can't easily see it, which is a, a bit of an issue. Obviously, the gym is down there, but we won't be looking to do the gym quite yet. Um, again, we want to really... Uh, it would be lovely to... Um, uh, have a full team roster before we really start um, looking um, to collect to collect any more gym badges. So, uh, Celadon Department Store, we can, um, as you can see, so we have Raw, Hyper Beam, Dig, Brick Break, Secret Power, Attract are the current TMs there. We actually have the vast majority of those. We see some Super Potions, which you definitely want to buy. You can see that I, we have very little money now, and that's because I spent a lot of it on coins, just because... Um, I wanted to speed things up. Um, for long outings, you should buy it revive. Okay, that is that. So, we're going to get counter. Do we want to learn counter? Um, well, think about it. It's obviously a move tutor. You, usually, um, so obviously, uh, this is uh, this guy is talking about haunt attendants to different Pokemon while being traders. Obviously, um, uh, talking about trade evolutions. But yeah, normally you get counter as a uh, as a TM. So I'm guessing it's become a move tutor move. Poke doll. We got. You can throw a poke doll at a Pokemon to distract it. We've got all the uh, various stones that you need and some mail. Um, what's up here? Yep, the various stat enhancers, like, um, process. so, uh, all of these are obviously, uh, they, they, they increase, um, Pokemon stats by one stage, um, in, uh, in battle, once in battle, and these are, um, the stat enhancers that, um, work, not just in battle, but also outside. So, we've also got, um, this little girl, who will give us, um, uh, she will give us a, a, a TMs based on uh, what drink we actually give her, I believe. Okay, so if we talk to you. So, if we give her a drink and we give her fresh water, we get TM16, which is light screen. If we give her a soda pop, we get TM20, which is safeguard, and if we give her a lemonade, then we're going to get TM33, which is reflect. So you can get essentially the three um, sort of like shielding moves. Um, obviously, uh, light screens for special attacks, reflect for physical attacks, and safeguard is for status ailments. So, uh, the nice old lady in the mansion will give you tea. So we get tea, nothing beats thirst, I'd like some tea. I'm pretty sure I think um, we actually need the tea in order to gain access to saffron. Uh, we can continue heading through here. Here we have the game designers that are randomly in the game. <laughs> Isn't Erica cute? I like Misty a lot. And Sabrina, I like her. I'm a graphic artist, I'm the programmer, and yeah, he's the guy who, uh, if you fill your Pokedex, he'll give you something. Uh, so that is that. Um, so whilst that guy is currently blocking the path, I'm pretty sure there is a way to get round. Is there anything down here? No, it doesn't look like it. So if we head into here and you climb up all the stairs, we should gain access to this room, which gives us an EV, is it? Yes, we do get an EV. So 
Obviously, we could theoretically use Eevee, but obviously we wouldn't be able to evolve our Eevee um, just because, uh, obviously, the evolution is uh, not a normal type. Any of the Eevee evolutions are not normal type. We can also uh, get ourselves an Aether as we head along there. Now, so, uh, we obviously now have T, which should mean that we can actually um, bypass our way into Sa Celadon. So, sorry, into Saffron, yeah. And obviously, um, the issue with Saffron is that uh, the vast majority of these areas are going to be um, blocked off by um, Team Rocket Grants. I'm just wondering whether, say, Mr. Psychic's house is available. You wanted this. Yes, we get TM29, which is Psychic, which is great news for us. I believe, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to give Psychic to our Porygon. Obviously, we do have, we obviously have Psybeam as well. Um, which is really helpful. I don't think we can... T yeah, so uh, we, we can't currently do the Saffron um, City uh, Rockets stuff yet. We, can, we, we can't do that until um, we complete the... Um, we complete the mission in, in Lavender Town. I'm pretty sure it's Lavender Town that we need to do. So, we're just going to quickly heal up, because um, for some reason I hadn't healed up yet. And then we'll do some of the battles. So, um, I did one of these battles, um, because I believe there's a situation where you have to do one of the battles in order to um, get um, from Lavender to Celadon. So, I have done one of these battles, but um, I believe it was it was a really simple one. It was like a Growlithe and a Vulpix, I think, and they both went down to Clefairy's Water Pulse. So nothing too interesting, um, that. So, we see uh, this uh, trainer has Voltorbs, which are obviously are rather fast. As Porygon grows to level 31, we're going to see a Magnemite. Which, uh, thankfully, does go down in two hits to our side beam. And obviously, the coughing will certainly go down in one hit, being weak to Psychic. We see some bikers, we also have an expert, uh, or a gambler, sorry, here. Gamer, that's the one. And we get put to sleep as we land a thief. Lovely. Another hypnosis lands, which kind of sucks. And we wake up again, and this time he misses. And he's got a poly world. And he misses that. So there we go. Cool. Things didn't work today, he says. So we've got uh, a biker here. Biker Ricardo sends out coffee. And the nice thing about uh, bikers is obviously that um, a large chunk of them are like using um, poison types, which is really going to um, help our Porygon. That was sort of um, one of the reasons why I really wanted to get the Porygon before doing a lot of these battles, because of the fact I knew um, Porygon was going to get uh, a going to have an advantage against a lot of these guys. So obviously uh, we did not learn Lock-On. Uh, Lock-On is a move that essentially guarantees that the next move that you use will hit. So if you want to use something like um, Zap Cannon because it's only got 50% accuracy or you want to use a one-hit KO move, then uh, you can. But obviously uh, you do have to suffer the, um, the fact that you, it takes obviously two turns to do so, which is uh, inconvenient. So this is working out rather nicely, we just thief everything that isn't weak to Psychic, and we can, um... Ah, oh, you're kidding me. This shouldn't be a contact move, should it? As Porygon grows to level 33, uh, we will zip along here because we can, and we can try and, um... Just get back to the Lavender Town to heal up. I'm pretty sure what we'll probably end up doing is that we'll probably just... We won't be able to do the whole tower. Maybe we'll finish with the battle with our rival inside the tower. As we will side in these Clefairy. She has two Clefairy. Goodbye. Lovely jubbly. You read that Clefairy evolves with a Moonstone. You would be correct. I would know. I have a Clefairy. I did evolve it with a, I did evolve it with a Moonstone. So there we go. We see more Grimer. We, uh, this is the point in the game where you just start seeing loads and loads of these poison types. Grimer, Muck, stuff like that. Why a Psychic type is so good in Gen 1. 
Like, e even in these remakes where Psychic isn't quite so broken as it was in the first games, uh, it's, it's nice having a Psychic type. So we see uh, Clefairy and a Jigglypuff. We will Psybeam the Jigglypuff and we will Mega Punch the Clefairy. Goodbye. Psybeam comes through and nearly takes you out. We're getting really close to actually, um, getting very close to actually uh, my Porygon being the same level as my Wigglytuff, which is rather impressive. Indeed, there we go, level 34. So there we go. Um, this uh, this last uh, likes collecting Nidoran, so we're going to be able to uh, again another set of uh, poison types, which is really useful for us. And then final one, we see uh, some meow and another meow, and we flinch with bite. That's okay, and a final meow as well. Lovely jubbly. So, we zip through these battles really nice and quick. We can now uh, fly back to Lavender Town and we can prepare. So essentially uh, what we're going to do is we are going to take on our rival inside the Lavender Town, um, inside the, what you call it, the Pokemon Tower. We will take on our, uh, our rival there and then I think we'll call this episode to an end. Uh, it might be a little bit shorter, but... Um, I'm sort of looking to shorten a lot of these episodes just because um, the big 40 minute episodes aren't so... Like, I can appreciate that, you know, not everyone's going to have 40 minutes to watch a big episode, so yeah. Uh, we don't really need any of that, so here we go. Get out of the way. So, Pokemon Tower. Obviously, um, all of these people are grieving for... Uh, yeah, pray for my dearly... Um, departed Clefairy, pay respects, bless your Pokemon loving heart. And then, my Growlithe, why did you die? Because it's inevitable, I'm afraid. I'm a channeler, there are spirits up to mischief, I sense them high in the tower. Indeed, we'll see lots more channelers, but to start off, the first battle will be with our rival here. Hey, Mark, what brings... Uh, what voice did I use for you? I don't remember. Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive! I can at least make them faint. Let's go. Oh, he's such a, such a terrible person. Okay, so, Pidgeotto. We will side you. Looks like we have the level advantage, certainly, on uh, on uh, Gary. As he's going to send in a Gyarados. I'm going to go into my Wigglytuff. I'm going to roll out, which is going to be super effective. So he is now infatuated with me because of Cute Charm, which was actually rather lucky there, although admittedly he did uh, he did suffer from using Thrash. So Wigglytuff goes to level 35, uh, she's going to bring in Growlithe, so we're going to bring up our Clefable, which can obviously Water Pulse um, Growlithe. We see Kadabra, so we can go into our Porygon and we can uh, Thief against uh, the Kadabra, which is super effective and takes it out of what the hit, wow. We are so much higher level, it must be said. And then, uh, final Pokemon, obviously, his starter, Ivysaur. We can also stay in and we can Psybeam the Ivysaur. And that is super effective with a nice chunk of damage. We even win the speed tie to defeat our rival here in the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. Porygon goes to level 35. We'll meet up at level 35 as well. I took it easy on you too, he says. How's your Pokedex coming? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, unlike you. Smell you later. So there goes Gary with his brilliant theme. I, I do love the Gary theme. Do -do 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 -do. So, do you battle me? Even we could not identify it the way it would ghosts. A Sylph Scope might be able to unmask them, which is obviously what we spent all of this episode doing, trying to get. So we now have our self scope. We in the next episode we will be entering the re doing hopefully the rest of the Lavender Town um, quest, and then we will from there be heading um, south towards Fuchsia, and we will hopefully get to the Safari Zone, and then we'll have an episode in the Safari Zone of me trying to catch the Pokemon that I want to add to my team. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode of my Let's 
uh, of my uh, Pokemon Fire Red normal pure type. We now obviously have a team of three rather than a team of two, which is always good. And I hope you'll join us uh, on the next episode where we will uh, hopefully, yeah, be getting to Fuchsia. Fingers crossed. We'll see how far we get. I will see you on the next episode.